Hey everyone, Coding Station here. In this video, we are going to make an AI car move to a mouse position while using dot space navigation. If you have seen some of my previous videos, you might know that we already have a working dot space navigation system which can find path between two points. We will also be using the new input system to register mouse click. We will be setting the destination of our car after we register a mouse click and then reroute the mouse position. This is done by having two actions, one that is listening to the mouse click. Based on this, we subscribe to a function which reads out the mouse position. Just like the player drive entity class we have to drive around the car using player input, we have AI drive entity that is responsible for driving AI cars. Here we first activate the action map we created and subscribe to this mouse click event. We then read out the mouse position here. This class also adds some of the necessary components needed for dots based navigation namely unit component and unit buffer but we are setting the state of this component or agent to be navigated already. This is because we want to navigate only when a destination or positions become available that is after a mouse click. We do this in the subscriber function called set destination. If this were a pure ECS based AI car then doing all of this would not be necessary. We will have to use entity manager here and this would create a bottleneck but at least the navigation would be faster. We will also set the from and to location. The from location being the current AI car position whereas the to location is the mouse click position. We are also setting the buffer index to 0, routed flag to false, removing the component that gets attached once the unit gets routed and clearing the unit buffer for previously calculated path if it exists. This is one of the limitations of the system that I have. I would be refactoring it to just have an agent attached to an entity so it can be navigated easily. So stay tuned. The system that drives the AI car which is the AI drive system is reading the unit buffer attached to car which would contain the path. I have stripped out some of the things that were in here and I am in the process of modularizing. So this version is a basic version. So it does not do reversing or collision avoidance. We can now hit play and click on any location to move the AI car to that position. The more I see this, more I think that this is kind of a spaghetti code or system. I will be simplifying it and modularizing the navigation code so it can be simply attached to any entity and we can have the path calculated. One more thing that I will have to take away from the existing solution is the logic to use cache path. I will keep the current code which has this feature but will be removing this from the version forward as I don't see myself reusing the cached path at least in my scenarios. I will also try and take advantage of the newer dots based job system that will make the code much more cleaner and readable. Same will be done for other components so you can just add them to any entity of your choice so you can have the entity driving your own AI car or at least provide an initial calculated direction so you can derive your own drive parameters based on your use case. I have some additional content planned around this so stay tuned and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, the level that you are seeing is procedurally generated using wave function collapse algorithm. Check out my previous videos if you want to know more.